Hey guys, so welcome to class. This is your girl, the Ladies Headlight Academy. My name is Damilola Akim. Don't forget, I am Damilola. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How am I being? Ah, so what we're going to be doing in this class today in this tutorial is how to make this fascinator uh, civil, fascinate civil, um, where the fascinator. <laughs> Yeah, this is very simple to make, but there is something I want to show you that is very important. Is how the major thing, let me be sincere, the major thing I want to show you in this video is how to attach your Alice brand to your fascinator without using, make using of gum. You know, something like this, you, have, you don't have to use gum, it will have a stain on your fascinator. Hope you know that. So, we're going to force introduce the materials we're going to be using. You see, all this fascinator, I bought it in the market, it's already made. So, Sometimes these days, cinnamon is very expensive. You don't need to stress yourself. We have ready made in the market that you can get anytime. I bought this two TV. You can get it less than that or more than that at your place. I got this face night, so called it bed gate night. I got two years. This is something never by yard. We are in Nigeria. You need to understand that currency. <laughs> That's what? Now they are doing whatever. So, and I saw bought this flower. I bought it TV 50. I want I'm going to use the two this alice band my you should go fishy line 0.50 mm you can use the one that is smaller that is tiny more thin than this so my thinner than that oh, oh. all right so and also we did this i don't know what the name the name should call it but you're going to as you watch this video you're going to know how to make this and that is what you're going to use to attach our holidays band to the fascinator. All right, guys, let us, let us get started. And also, we're going to be needing our bias. <laughs> See, more bias. All right, so let us get started. The first thing to do now is to attach this to this. Or oh, let me set this aside for, let me first attach our holidays band to the fascinator. So this is how it's going to be. Now, for us to be able to fix our Alice band to the fascinator, we, we are not going to just going to use our old glue to glue it because we're going to affect it here, you know. We are not facing it the way we do fix our Alice band to the fascinator. What I'm going to do is that this is my first time trying this, so I still don't know how it's going to come out. This is my first time. Let me be sincere. <laughs> But I know it's going to come out right because I have sure it. You understand? That is creativity. All right, so I cut out wordy. This is the breast pad wordy, the thick one. You can use, you can make use of your um, princess mat or cinnamon for this. I don't want to make use of it. I want to use my wordy, the thick wordy. And I cut out the fabric. It's a clear, but you can use make make use of any fabric. Just make sure it doesn't fray at the edge. We can cut it out. So I'm going to place it on top like this. I call I don't measure any a uh, circumference here. It just cuts. Let me just try to measure in case you want to try it out. I'm coming ready for my table. All right. So I think it should be like three inches. Yes, yeah, circumference three inches. I also cut another wording like this. I cut it out. I just use this to mirror it and leave about quarter. Let me just two inches. I will not be using the two inches. I will not be using everything. What I did is that I'm going to place it on it this way, and I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew. I'm not just going to sew anyhow. I will place this. Can you see? I'll place it so and I will mark the edge where it stop. Leave about small space. So that it can, we are, we are, we'll be inserting this Alice band inside this place, you know. After sewing straight, we have an opening place here so that we can insert this inside. Then we go ahead to face it to the fascinator. I hope you understand. This is a wordy or breast pad, a fabric, any fabric of your choice. I cut out the same size and I place under wording, cut it out like this. The measurements, I make sure. It's almost the same thing with this. If the biggest space, almost the same thing, and I'm going to sew. So I mark it so that I can able to sew. We know where to sew on my machine. I don't make the sewing too tight, like too firm. 
that I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So here I'm going to sew outside there. So I'm doing it out, doing it. And you can use your hand sewing. You can use your you can sew with your hand using your needle and thread or your fishing line with your needle. You can just sew it. I think that is what I'll be doing. I will sew it very well. I will not be going to my sewing machine. I will sew use my hand needle to sew it very well. All right, I'm going to be showing you just a simple thing to do to come out. We come to I'll come to show you the next thing to do. Now here is it. I use my fishing line to sew the side. I use 0.50 mm fishing line to sew. You can use the one that is smaller than this, but I think fishing line is very good to do this. Even when you sew, it's going, it's not going to be firm or firmer, <laughs> more stronger than this. Can you see? So, and if you want to end this thing, or if you want to cut it out, don't end it on top or under here. I open it up like this to end it here. You can see, and I'm going to tie it now. So. I think this is not that neat enough. I don't I don't supposed to use my Bible to draw this. You can see how it has damaged what I did. So I'm going to use my fabric to cut to I'll to cover it. I'll look for a fabric like this. Not like this. I'll cut the size of this rectangle on top. I will use it to cover it. Apply my gum on it and use it to cover it. Let me do that now. I have my fabric here to cover it. You don't need to cover this with your fabric if you don't use your bio to stain the wording. So I'll be using my, I'll apply my USU gum on it. Only we can apply everything. Don't forget we still have our space open for the Alice bag to be inserted. Now that is good. It is neat now. So this we go in. Can you see? Can you see? So you can be at the side, it can be at the middle. So you can just adjust it is adjustable. You understand? And that is the main reason I'm doing this video. So other things are very simple to do. Okay, see? Now we're going to learn how you can attach this without using your glue or glue to do that. And you will see how it's going to come out nice. Okay, see? Normally it's going to appear like this on top, but there will not be any gum stain. We're going to sew it our fishing line. All right, let us go. So this place is longer than this place. This longer side is going to be at the front like this and this is going to be by the side so i know where my this is going to stay now so this is it you will watch this video and understand how i made this so you can easily insert it inside or pull it out anytime anyway <laughs> all right so i'm going to using my fishing line and my needle to attach this i'm not using glue the only glue i want to use now is us sugar just to help me to Add this thing to be in place. I'm not using odd glue. The reason why I'm not using odd glue is that it's going to cause gum stain on the fabric, on the fascinator, and also it doesn't last. When you are under the sun, the odd glue mate, and you will see the end, at the end at the end is not good, and you won't like that to happen to your customer after they have gotten this from you. So. I'm adding this um USU gum to it so that it can help me to it can help this thing to be in place. So this is how the Alice band is going to pass through. And this is the hole. This is the hole. This is the open space. So the open space will be by the side. You know this thing. This side is by the side. You understand what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to place this all at the middle here. And better still, let me apply my gum here so that the fabric can stay in place. Stop moving. Stop moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the fabric can be in place. You hope you can see what I'm trying to do. I think my hand is obstructing it. All right. So these are, we are not done, no. We are not done, no. <laughs> you can make use of your BC thousand to do that. I just love you, Shigum, these days. 
if you have been watching my video, you know, you will see that I have not been using you should go because it's very expensive. But these days, back, I'm back to you should go. Yeah, so this is the middle. And this will pass through. Can you see? So make sure you place this thing very well and determine where it's going to be on your mannequin or on your head before you glue it. I hope you understand. All right, guys. So we are not going to use this alone. It will be sewing. This is how it's going to be at the side. You can see that the bee sister doesn't stain it. And if you are using bees, I mean, you should go, do not stain it. And if you are using bee sister zone glue, you know that some bee sister zone that is not white, just like the one I have here. Ah, I, I regretted that I bought it. It's yellow in color. If you use something like that on your fast on your white fascinator, or even on any fascinator, you're going to blow yourself. Please and please check your bee sisters or gum before you go ahead, before you buy it in the market. All right, so this is the bee sister. Now let's start sewing. So I will cover everything for everything on the, the fabric. Okay, see. So I'm going to start from that like this. I want the tie, the knot place to be hidden inside. Hmm? As you can see. So and I'm go ahead to sew. Now we sew round neatly, very small. It's going to take your time, or oh, oh, be patient. So I would advise you use small needle with this tiny, the one that is smaller than the zero point fifty. I don't know the mm. I would have told you, but if you can finally your hand on that, make sure you use that. So this oh, you are going to pass. You are going to sew. And it shows the way that your what is it called? Your fishy line is, is not going to be obvious. And you sew the wording to the fascinator. I hope you understand. So you have to take your time to do this, take your time. And the most important place is the outside part. I think that is too big. I don't know. Let me just be patient doing it. So this is how it's going to be. If you do it very well, you are not going to see any traces. This is the last time I did when I started. And I would like to say something. I later use thread. This, if you have, let me show you the the fishing line I'm talking about. It's very, very tiny. You can't see. You will always see it on the straw mats. On the straw mats, straw mat, something like this. Okay, that is what they used to sew straw mats. Something like it's very tiny. That when it passes through something, you won't see the traces at all. This is very big. That is why I don't let her use it. Now that is what damage this side. The other side, you can see, is very neat. It's very neat. So let me show you what I did. And I use a needle I thread. I use a needle. I mean, normal thread that you use to sew your clothes and small needle. And that is what damage. I, when I was using, I used big needle. That is what damage that side. So I'm going to show you how I did it now. I let. Sorry, I got another method that I think is the best method to use, better than the one I'll be explaining. That is the method I use here. I have sewed this place, but you can't know like that. Just like all this side. So the more you do something, the more you know it's more. Alright. Um, so this is what I did. Just like the way we do it inside here. Just do it in the normal way. But outside there, what you are going to do is that. From where you came out, just look at it. From where you came out, move your thread apart. And the same with this on this inside the same hole from where you came out, go inside. Inside the same hole, go inside. Inside the same hole. So when you go inside, you come out like this, and you will see that you will not see anything there. I have sewn this place. I have sewn them. You see, I have sewn them. This side, but I just find out the method that is better than the one I explained here. Don't move to the next O. The same O, but move your thread apart, like as outside, so that you can be able to go inside. Let me do that again. 
the same way I explained the one inside by the same way. But when you get inside, the outside here, the same hole, on the same hole, on the same hole. So this, that is the, how you're going to do everything on the same pole. You'll see that it's going to come out very neat than the one I'll be explaining. Please and please make sure you follow this. Make sure you follow this. All right, now, so I'll, after that, I've sold, after sewing just not single thread, I'm going to apply my glue on the fab on the wording so that I can build the fabric to the wording. Do you see that this side is neat now sewing on the fabric? Can you see? So if is, there is any other bit that it can serve you better than this don't i would like i would love you share with us just send it to the comment box in the comment box under this video we would love to learn from you so it's good to learn from each other it's good all right and if you have any question feel free to ask you see so it can be by the side you can turn it to the side or middle if you want it to be at the middle if you want to be by the side, oh, I hope you understand. So I'm also going to remove it now and do that later. I'll insert it later. So the next thing is to attach our first net to the beam of this to the edge of the beam. <laughs> All right, so we'll be using this. Um, where is the corner? The bias. Right, this is dirty. So I'm going to start from here. The bias with the glue with the face net. So this is what you're going to do. Please wash closely. I'm going to apply my glue. Maybe you should go. It's advisable to use you should go. So you can see. I will allow it to dry a little bit. Thereafter, I will. Can you see how I place the net? I'll be using the bias to hold it down. You can make use of your trimmies. You can make use of your trimmies. Apply your sugar gum on the edge. Use the net to cover it. To glue it to the fascinator. Then use your pliers to hold it to the fascinator. You are only use one hand of the pliers, of the net. You only use one hand, and the other net falls. So that is how I'm going to do all round, all round. You might want to start ask, can you use your hot glue or your BC star zone? Yeah, you can use if you love that. But I just want to use BC star zone here and U.S. Gum is very good than BC star zone and others. All right, so at the end there, and make sure this falls at the back, not by the side, nor by the front, or at the front. Let it fall at the back. So this is going to be at the back. So at the end there, let it overlap, unless you don't want it to reach the end. I mean, you don't want it to reach the back. There are some that stop by the side there, just by the side. 
So I'm going to cut out the excess, overlap by one inch or half inch. I'm going to cut out the excess and the excess of the net. The net and the excess. <laughs> so, and when you are cutting, just make sure you follow the step, follow the line before you cut. All right, so I've cut out the excess, so it's going to be like this. We're going to overlap each other like by, by one inch or one and a half. So you can decide to use your glue, your glue, I mean, to glue it together or leave it that way. So, all right, we are done with this. Just like I say, it is very simple. So the next thing to do is just to apply your, attach your, flower to heat. You can decide to place the flower on top but the design that the client sent to me there is no any flower on top. It's by the side. So that is the main reason you must do this page very neat. Alright so I will use my hot glue. There's no electricity now. I'm going to wait till there is light. I'm going to use my hot glue to attach this by the side. It can be at the right side or left side. It depends on how you want it to be and that is all. So, I'm going to show you how this is going to look on my mannequin. You can decide to add your feathers, your flower, your anything, your arrow, um, arrow feather, anything of your choice to it. So, please, please don't forget. I even forgot to tell you since that if not, if you not forget to subscribe to our channel, this thing has occupied all my mind. All right, guys. See you later. I'm going to see the finished look. Bye. Just make sure you subscribe to our channel before you leave. Before you leave. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye. Love you.